Bonds are in the danger zone. That's our topic for this morning's Backstage Pass. Good morning, I'm James Lopez, president at HomeFi Corporation. I'm coming to you from Magazine Street in New Orleans, Louisiana. You can see behind me, gorgeous part of the city. Uh, there's a little bit of car noise, so uh, you'd have to over, overcome that. Don't mind that as I'm talking to you about some of the stuff that's going on today and the bond and the real estate market with mortgage interest rates and everything. So right off the bat, mortgage bonds. Mortgage bonds are down about 45 basis points this morning on news from the ISM index. The ISM index is a, it's a, a manufacturing index. Um, some people call it the PMI or the purchase managers index and it measures the prices that uh, manufacturers are paying for raw materials and supplies in order to uh, you know, make things. And so uh, this index came back stronger. The data came back stronger than what was forecast or expected. And so the mortgage bonds are reacting adversely. Yesterday, mortgage bonds were trading sideways, what we call it, trading within their range of support and resistance. Uh, mortgage bonds have, have gone through that floor of support. And I'll tell you what, folks, there's a long way to go underneath that floor of support. Um, so right now, mortgage bonds are down about 45 basis points. The 10-year yield is up about eight basis points. A lot of room to go on the mortgage bond. So we could see uh, still be in negative reprice risk territory throughout the day. We'll let you know what that means for mortgage rates this morning, though, is that mortgage rates are going to open up um, most likely worse than where they were yesterday. Um, if some of those lenders that opened up a little bit early when mortgage bonds hadn't gone through that floor of support, they're going to be repricing for the worst right now. So just be on the lookout. We're on a locking basis, making sure that as those loans come in, we're getting those things locked. Now back on the real estate side of things, Case Schiller and the FHFA released their home price indexes yesterday. And some interesting data shown, you know, the Case Schiller index is what's known as the gold standard for appreciation. And this is super interesting. So this data for, for both of these indexes is from the month of March. And so it's before the rise in interest rates, you know, really took hold. And so we don't know how much that affected appreciation, at least not yet, yet in this data. But uh, what they showed for Case Shiller for the month of March, uh, month over month, was a 2.6% appreciation. That's a lot. If you annualize that, that's a 30% appreciation. So that, that one kind of sped up a little bit, um, it, uh, accelerated, um, which, you know, wasn't quite what we expected to see. But, you know, for the month of March, appreciation accelerated a little bit. Now, the FHFA index, this one takes a, into account only homes that have a conforming loan limit on them. So it's a little bit uh, smaller data set, and there's a lot of homes that are in that data set that are on the you know, less expensive side. And so the appreciation wasn't quite as strong. For month over month, it was a little bit under 2%. Year over year, it was a little bit under 20%. Now, the year over year data for Case Schiller, that was just over 20% um, from, from March of 2021. But again, that, that month over month data, if you annualize that, that's a lot. Now, this kind of supports the idea that we've got that, hey, we're not going to see uh, any kind of decreases in pricing. What we're going to see is a slowdown in this appreciation, and we want to see a slowdown in the appreciation. We don't want to see that continue. We want to see that start to slow down a little bit, and so that's what we're looking for. Now, that's all the news that we have for today. There's more news coming out later this week, the ADP jobs report um, and the BLS jobs report. Both of those news items are going to be uh, market-moving news items, so we'll bring those news items to you as they come. Uh, but for now, that's all that we have for today. Uh, real quick, we are going to share some of the uh, infographics that we have for the Case Schiller and the FHFA indexes over on Facebook, so be sure to go over there, uh, check those out, hit like and subscribe, and uh, listen, I hope you have a wonderful day. Remember, stay positive, and we'll see you tomorrow.